that, but uh, highly recommended if you've got a bit of time to kill or you need to kill some time. I'm not sure if that means the same thing, but uh, head up to that rooftop bar. It's a fantastic view overlooking the city of Atlanta. But up those steps there, uh, there's an archway, there's a tunnel that will take you straight through to North Terrace. The city of Adelaide is just on our left-hand side there, folks. Someone might have just got off the plane, you never know. But uh, through that tunnel there is the Adelaide Railway Station. And at that Adelaide Railway Station there is an information centre. So if you need any information, head up those steps. Uh, now, dodgy football knees, dodgy netball knees, that's okay. Uh, well, it's not okay. I've got a dodgy knee, but uh, uh, to bypass those steps, there is a lift, uh, a lift. There's ramps on the left of us, and this side of the footbridge, just tucked up in the corner here, just up the grassy knoll, uh, the little restaurants, uh, you've got the old malt, uh, malt house, with shovel, tap house, tap back there, if you need a bite to eat, or that all important refreshing beverage. Uh, but the other convention centre, just on the left hand side here, it's the behemoth of a building, it is massive, but uh, 1987, that opened up, and that is the first purpose-built convention centre in Australia, right here in the little old uh, events, you name it, and uh, whatever those uh, convention centres got up to. Now, to cater for all those convention goers, folks, there is a very special convention kitchen in there somewhere, which can serve a few hours. I do like our chances, but uh, now the LA Brown Club, uh, just here on our left-hand side, it's... Uh, it's the second oldest rowing club on the River Times, but it's actually my favourite rowing club on the River Times because it's got the date on the balcony. I can see it from here, 1882. It's one date I don't have to remember. Now, most of the schools have a rowing club here as well. Uh, of course, on our right hand side, connecting to the South Bank, on our left hand side. Now, uh, before that, we've got the Torrens Weir up ahead there, folks, right down the end of the lake here in the river. And um, we'll get there in a few minutes, we'll be able to hopefully see the little towns beyond that. But uh, back in the old days before the video was in place, there was a little cross. Now this south bank on our left hand side still, back in the old days it used to be a big old shanty town. Um, pretty well stretching from the bridge, uh, we'll just pass over, all the way up to the top. The trees here as well, and uh, there's a funny looking building. Um, it sort of looks like a giant Chinese oh, Assembly building in South Australia. Yeah, which hopefully you can see when you can through the gaps there. That is the mighty River Torrens. It's like a big old creek. Uh, but it's not like the uh, mighty Murray or the Yangtze um, or the Thames, but uh, there she flows. So we're sort of facing westish at this point. Now the river winds its way out to an aptly named suburb uh, on the beach, on the ocean called West Beach. It was fairly flat. Of course, until we get up to the area, it does stop the sharks coming up to Let's go, guys, from Tea Tree Gully, just to make sure you're not true, no sharks, but uh, you can hire those guys out. Uh, someone does all the work, don't worry about that, but um, just sit back and kick back and check out the beautiful little skyline of the city of Crossing this little river tunnels, heading northwards, bush rangers lurking amongst the gum trees, they would have small running out with their pistols drawn, shouting, stand and deliver your money or your life, whatever the catch cry was back in the old days. But uh, there were robberies after they did catch a few of the coppers, so I'll send it down to the old lady. Then later on, down to the old fellows at the old NHL, that was it. Not playing on the surface. stages are set up down this right hand corner here and uh, I think the next event might be Cows by Canada. Okay. 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 Australia's favourite sons Mr. the case to come on those calls over there as well. And of course the mighty LA Noble folks, the most picturesque, iconic sporting arena in the whole world folks. Right here in LA, not being by us but uh, we're passing the southern end, we are on the river end, on the northern end, on the cathedral, we're trying to destroy them, but uh, the survivors so far, but a lot of fun to be here. 1939, and uh, the first world of bridge in fact, to be built in South Australia. But uh, in 1971, there's a little photo going around, hopefully we all get to see it, but uh, in 1971, 
don't think you need that. I do, I do think about the old Popeye driver on that morning, way back in 1971, not too often, but uh, he would have been coming around the band on that morning. Morning, he's well, just one of my school mates this morning, he might have thought, but uh, I don't even know uh, if his wife's name was called that. down the section of the river and have a little drink. It's quite spectacular. They are a big bird, well, a big bat, but, uh, before they head off on their little nightly escapades. Now, all the, uh, all the stonework here as well, uh, locally sourced from the Allied Hills, so a beautiful, beautiful place called Kerry's Gully, and, uh, and of course, the beautiful terrace gardens there as well. Now, we've got the Allied Hills very green to this day. Uh, as you can see, now, someone on board uh, that day is a little bit noisy. I might have to apologise to Wayne Wayne and Freddie, it might get a little bit rowdy, but yeah, as I mentioned, this is where the fun really starts. Uh, who wants to toot the horn? Any, any horn tooters on board, let's go. As I mentioned, sorry Wayne Wayne and Freddie, it's going to get a little bit noisy, so... Okay, let's go, just up on my right hand side. Two little, two little short blasts. Just, happy to stay on the right. Happy to stay on the right. Happy to stay on the right. Nice one, mate, nice one. Ah, thank you, cheers. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Here we go. All we're having a go. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Nice and quiet. Yeah. Nice and quiet. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. Fantastic. Now, hey, here we go. Let's go. <laughs> not bad. Tell you what. It's a, it's a strong competition. Strong competition here, I tell you what, it's going to be hard to pick one. Hey, put it to the end. Better watch where I'm going. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. How many is there on it? Hey, she comes, here we go. Oh, perfect, not bad, not bad. So, uh, uh, here he comes, here he comes up there, guys, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So, um, I think that's, that's all the little kids, folks. You know what's coming? What about the big kids, eh? What about the pictures? Now, uh, we'll keep it amongst ourselves. No one's going to find out. I'm not going to tell anybody. No one's going to know, but... Okay, just stirring it up. No worries.
Erzak Road in Turkey in the First World War. He survived that. He survived uh, the trenches in France. And he came back to Adelaide. In 1935, Gordon Watts, he built his first boat where the Landers Cafe is just there. It used to be a big old shed. Now, once Gordon had built that boat, he launched that boat. He thought he'd better name that boat. Oh, so he put it thought, OK, no worries. The children have chosen. So uh, Gordon thought, you know what, I get it, get, it, get permission. Why the same? So Gordon, he wrote to Walt Disney up there in Hollywood, and Walt Disney, he personally... Oh, uh, Popeye. Into this boat. And of course, the first boat was called Popeye, but the other two weren't. They were called something different. Anyway, coming around to Elder Park Landing, back in the old days when you guys got on, uh, Gordon found out that he had a slight little problem in that uh, he noticed that all the children would only get on the boat named Popeye and not the other two, so not really that great for business. So there's old Gordon, he's scratching his head thinking, well this is a tricky one, what am I going to do here? And then Gordon thought, you know what, I'm just going to name all the boats Popeye Gordon, that's why I've got... social media, yeah, don't have to, but we are just a little family-run operation. We've been going for nearly 90 years, but uh, apart from this little daily cruise, we also do uh, high teas, uh, birthday parties, gym masterclasses, special events, girl guide events, I don't know, but, uh, there we go. Um, so do give us a mind if you've got a special event, but uh, whether you've come from uh, overseas or in the state or local, all the way from Tea Tree Gully, I'm not sure, but... Uh, Thanks for joining us on the Popeye this morning. And uh, have a great afternoon in LA. Have a great stay in LA, folks, if you're sticking around. Now, uh, the seatbelt sign is now being lit. If you can stay your trade tables, we are coming into our final post. So again, on behalf of the Popeye, thanks for joining us uh, today. Take care, look after yourselves, and uh, we might see you again sometime. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.